Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. Welcome to uh, Wheatstone Factory, where we're sitting here today with our Bonneville Salt Lake City system. Um, this is phase one of a, of a two or three phase project that we're doing in Salt Lake for Bonneville. And uh, just wanted to take a little bit and show you what we have for them. And then we'll uh, do a little bit of testing later on about powering things on and off and doing a few system reboots on their hardware. Um, first thing we have here is one of our North Production LXE consoles. Um, 24 faders here. We've got its display. Here we've got the I.O. for the North Production Room. We've got the Cisco switch, mic blade, AD blades for some I.O. We've got the mix engine for the LXE, and we've got the power supply. We've also got an LXE wedge, uh, and this is going to be for another producer in the room, somebody doing voice tracks and editing. So what we've got here is two LXE surfaces sharing the same engine with a total of about 32 faders between the two surfaces. Um, the next is we've got what's called South Production and the Main Talk. You'll see here we've got two split LXE wedge surfaces. These are going to be for the host and co-host. We've got the popular TS4s, which is with a PoE switch. So the TS4s are going to give us mic control, monitor selection, and headphone amplification for the three guests in that room. Um, these are all going to be connected with a 3560 Cisco switch. The Talk Studio main mics are going to be connected to the M4. These two wedge surfaces are going to get power from this uh, rack mount power supply. Then over here in the south production room, we're then again, we're actually sharing engines. So we've got a, you know, a 16 fader console here, a Cisco switch. We've got mic blade here, some analog and digital IO, along with a mix engine and power supply. So the talk engine and the South Prod engine are sharing each other. Um, moving over here, we've got our traffic center. And what we did in the traffic center is we've got a Cisco switch, we've got one engine, and the I.O. is all going to be controlled on these wedges. So each traffic position, a total of three of them, are going to have a three fader surface with a monitor section. These all connect with one Cat5 and one power cable. So the power supply has three connections. So the entire traffic room here is going to be handled via um, just these three surfaces. A couple accessory modules, some spare modules. One nice thing about LXC is everything's an individual channel. So whether you want to mix and match modules, you want to move things around and customize wedges or surfaces, they just plug in with a simple connector. Um, moving over here, we're going to have some of our sideboards. These are going to be additional in the traffic studio here. These are, these are eight fader standalone sideboards. We have a couple rack mount units here which are actually going to live in the rack. Sideboards are great for you know, interfacing with our utility mixers. Up here, we're going to have two switches. One of these switches is going to be deployed up on the second floor and down in the basement where all the stuff comes in for KSL will be the heart of the system. And this is going to be a 3850 Cisco switch. Here we've got a couple SDI blades. We're going to take one of the SDI blades, hand it over to the TV section for audio in and out of the TV section. We're going to take another SDI blade, and I believe this is going to be put in one of the uh, video editing suites. So we're going to have to be able to embed and de-embed SDI audio. The rest of it are all the different blades, and these blades are going to be scattered throughout the facility, some down in the basement, some in the engineering cores. Um, we've got a transmission room. We've got newsroom blades. And the whole concept here is every room or every suite has a small Cisco switch, which is going to be networked back to the engineering switch downstairs, um, penthouse switch up here. All the Wheatstone devices are going to plug into these switches, and we're going to move everything around in the Ethernet domain. Stay tuned for more on the Bonneville Salt Lake City system.